Hey guys, it's Bob, that Scottish drummer. I hope you're all doing well. And today we're looking at an issue that I found when I was first setting up this home recording studio behind me here. And that was when I connected my Sapphire interface to the computer, it said no hardware detected, even though it was actually connected. So I spent quite a while in touch back and forth with Focusrite support, and I eventually found out what was causing the issue, and it was really simple. So I wanna share that with you guys today so that nobody else is wasting their time and you can watch this video, fix a problem, get on with your day. So let's just jump straight into this now. So we're gonna to go to Safari, and we're gonna to go to the Focusrite homepage. From here, you wanna log in, and this takes you to the login portal under my hardware, and go to your Sapphire, and then you wanna make sure you're downloading the latest one, which is 3.9, and just click download. So before we open that downloads, we're gonna to go to system preferences and open up security and privacy. Now you might have something down here already, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up and keep an eye on that pane in security and privacy. This is where it should pop up, if it's gonna pop up. It didn't for me. I've run this a few times to try and get it to happen, but of course I can't get the problem to happen when I want it to. <laughs> So go through with the install process and keep an eye on that tab that you have open in settings. What it's gonna be is it's gonna say, this is from an unidentified developer, uh, do you trust them or something like that? And you're gonna hit yes because it's from Focusrite, right? So it's, it's legit. And this has to be done right at this moment. You can't do this later, at a later period in time which is uh, which caused a lot of frustration for me. So if it's not working for you, do this fresh install of Sapphire Mix Control and uh, this should fix the problem for you. And then once the installation is done, you wanna click restart. So we go down here and open up Sapphire Mix Control and it works. No more, no hardware connected. So that's great. So there we have it guys. I hope that helped. Um, it's really simple when you know where to look, but it's really frustrating when you get that no hardware connected sign. Check out some of my other videos for more tips and tricks on Focusrite interfaces. I got how to connect two audio interfaces up here. And in the description, I will leave a link to Focusrite compatibility with Big Sur. Thanks for watching guys, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.